This is the all new MX Linux 23. The number one ranked destroyer in the world is back with a major update. Refreshed desktops, improved and even more powerful set of tools, enhanced security and a lot more make this release a big deal for MX lovers. MX is one of the most popular Linux distros in the world because it hits that sweet spot between being dynamically powerful and being user friendly. Its MX tools really elevate your Linux experience and provide one of the most compelling Linux experiences you can get. And this time around, we are getting a new base, a new engine under the hood and many more things that will cement MX Linux top spot in the Linux world. I've been using MX23 since its release candidates rolled out and I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's jump right in and have a look at what's new in the new MX23, the new desktop environments, what's improved, the performance, stability and a lot more. Trust me, this is going to be very interesting. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you are interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the V editor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. MX23 comes with big updates in the user interface department. We are getting KDE Plasma version 5.27 here, which is the latest at the moment. The Fluxbox edition sees version 1.3.7 and XFC will be getting the regular 4.18. XFCE is the main version of sorts here and XFCE has reached that stable and fully functional state with the 4.18 version. Everything works but a smooth here. MX Linux out of the box comes with this vertical bar. While I keep repeatedly saying that this is easy to fix, I strongly think it's time for the developers to change this. Once fixed, you get this clean and minimal desktop which is really a joy to use. We get a neat bottom bar that houses all your controls, the app menu, the quick icons and the status controls. This is the traditional way of using a computer and in my opinion, the best way. While I do enjoy using the GNOME desktop, something like Cinnamon, KDE Plasma or even Windows 7 which have a bottom panel based workflow is something that I really feel at home with. Bottom panel based desktops like XFCE here are great for productivity. App launching is fast, app switching is convenient and you just get some work done here, no other bullshit. Really, MX Linux really shines with XFCE. This is a purely productivity oriented system which lets you do some work, some play, all while not interfering or disturbing you. I just love this system. But if XFC is a bit too ancient for your taste, might I recommend the KDE Plasma version of MX Linux. MX23 comes with KDE Plasma 5.27 which in itself is bringing many new things. You're getting a modern and trendy desktop that's coming with few additional things this time around. Firstly, we are getting a completely revamped tiling mechanism here and it's my personal favorite. It lets you create tiling layouts which you can reuse with apps. Really great. You press the Windows plus T to adjust the layout. Then you can drag applications while holding shift to snap them to these tiles. This tiling is fully flexible and can be adjusted however you want. This is very intuitive and anyone who regularly uses tiling should definitely give this one a try. There's also an application overview mode which you can invoke by pressing Windows plus W. Plasma looks very gorgeous here. Of course, you'll need to change the wallpaper. MX Linux and KD Plasma is a great combo. Both aim to create a stable and functional system that promotes productivity and together they do create that perfect work machine. This is my recommendation. MX23 also comes with a Fluxbox variant that caters to that ultra lightweight audience. We're getting Fluxbox version 1.3.7 here. On top of that, all the additional MX goodies are present. MX23 is based on the latest version of Debian stable that is Debian 12. This means new kernel, new and shiny package versions and new tech in general. Debian 12 brings 11,000 completely new packages and 47,000 updated packages. This translates over to a whole new kind of user experience and MX23 inherits all these. So you're getting a more modern, contemporary experience. This rebase also gives a massive technological jump to MX Linux and brings it on par with other operating systems in 2023. Now one thing you should notice, MX Linux doesn't use systemd, but rather defaults to the older sysv in it. This change was made with the MX21 version and has been continued with this version as well. 
While System D is newer and has definite advantages, Siswi Init 2 has some tricks up its sleeve. It's more mature, it's way simpler in how it's created compared to System D, and above all, Siswi Init does help lightweight operating systems be more responsive and performant. MX Linux being a lightweight and performance oriented system benefits here. But if you prefer to use System D, it is pre installed on the system and you can select it from the Grub menu. With this version, MX Linux upgrades to Pipewire Audio Server from Pulse Audio for audio management, and that is a great update as well. You can expect better compatibility as well as sound performance from MX now. Pipewire has shown itself to be great when you are using Bluetooth earphones or headsets. The sound is high quality, there is high fidelity, and the latency is considerably low. So MX gets a plus one in the audio department because of this update. So yeah, under the hood, there are quite a few changes and improvements which ultimately mean we are getting a better experience with MX23. MX Linux is a top dog in the performance department. It delivers blazing fast performance even on a decade old laptop. MX is designed for hyper performance. All the desktops that it offers are performance driven. But if you are after that extra oomph, I recommend the XFCE version. There is a Fluxbox version which is even faster, but XFC is more usable for the everyday user. It's a fully functional desktop with a great bottom panel based workflow. The menu is fast and cool, app opening, app switching is a breeze, and you just enjoy the responsiveness here. Moreover, MX Linux doesn't come with any flat packs or snaps pre installed. This means all the applications you install here are lighter and deliver better responsiveness compared to modern unified packages. We'll talk about this in a bit, but I want to focus on the point that throughout everything, MX developers have prioritized system performance. It's designed to be able to run smoothly on a wide range of hardware, especially old computers. MX Linux breathes a new life into old computers. If you have any old laptop or desktops collecting dust, try MX on those. You'll be really surprised how well MX runs. And on anything relatively new and powerful, MX outshines the competition. You'll get a blazing performance with MX. For day-to-day -day things like browsing, doing some office work, watching movies and stuff, MX will run great. Now for heavier things like gaming, compiling and rendering, MX will still perform better than something like Ubuntu. But the difference becomes very small and it comes down largely to your hardware. But MX makes a difference nonetheless. Performance is one thing that you'll really enjoy with MX23 and the XFC version is highly recommended if you're looking for that extra performance. MX tools are the ultimate masterstroke of MX Linux. MX has a huge advantage over Debian and other Linux distros because it makes certain things very easy. Now Debian is one of my favorite operating systems, it's just fantastic. But we have to agree that there are certain things which are not exactly beginner friendly on Debian. Here on MX, we get a collection of specialized tools that come under the umbrella of MX tools. Some advanced operations which give you power control over the system are made very easy to use through a graphical interface here. You can make Linux live USB sticks with exhaustive options. You can take system snapshots in case you mess something up and want to roll back. There is boot repair which is invaluable for people who try out different operating systems. NVIDIA driver installer is another convenient tool. It detects your NVIDIA GPU model, downloads, installs and configures the proprietary drivers. When you consider that even today, in 2023, there are Linux distros on which installing NVIDIA drivers is not a one-click operation. There are Linux distros that break after installing NVIDIA drivers. Considering these, you gotta love MX. MX Package Installer is another amazing tool we have. This is one of the biggest selling points of MX Linux, which I'll talk about in a while. There are many more cool things here. Overall, with the help of these exclusive tools, MX Linux allows everybody, even Linux newcomers, to perform some advanced but sometimes necessary operations very, very easily. And with MX23, many of these fantastic tools receive bug fixes and enhancements. MX Snapshot tool is improved with customizable boot options. MX Tweaks updates to accommodate Polkit changes and expanded theming options. And there's a new app called User Install Packages, which makes migration and reinstallation way simpler by automatically installing all the applications which were previously installed. MX Linux is absolutely phenomenal in the software department. With its MX Software Installer, MX does a great job in providing an unseen kind of flexibility on a Debian based distro. While Debian Stable is one of the most extensively tested and dependable operating system, it does have some preference issues. The software versions in the Debian Stable repositories tend to be a tad bit older. Okay, very old. While these older packages tend to be more dependable, more bug free and 100% functional, some Linux users also prefer to describe them as ancient. 
MX Linux is still based on Debian Stable, but it is much more flexible with software installation. It gives you a much wide range of choices by allowing you to install software from Debian Stable, Debian Backports, MX Text Repositories, and even Flatpaks. Now the latter three repositories have much newer versions of the software, and with all these huge pools of software, you can find pretty much any software you might want. With these, especially Flatpaks, the one major drawback of using Debian Stable that is substantially old versions of packages, this issue just vanishes. As with Flatpaks, you'll be getting the latest version of all the software. Then, MX Package Installer is highly organized and simple. It's very easy to use. While we do get the good old Synaptic Package Manager here, this additionally improves the software management experience. You can use whichever you want. I really appreciate the simplicity and the freedom it gives. Software availability and delivery is just awesome on MX. Just another department where MX excels. MX Linux 23 now comes with a firewall installed and enabled out of the box. UFW or the uncomplicated firewall is enabled by default now, enhancing the security of your system. Generally, Linux based operating systems are very secure. In fact, so secure that for most users, you don't need to take any additional actions and it's just enough that you practice safe internet behavior. But having an additional layer of protection is definitely better. Uncomplicated firewall simply sets up IP tables to deny all the incoming requests. This ensures that you're in control of your internet access. Many distros do come with UFW pre-installed, but it's not enabled. MX takes the extra steps and enables it out of the box and you get that peace of mind knowing there's extra protection keeping you safer. It's a good move. Now this might cause certain applications like torrent apps and printers to behave in unexpected ways. You can either allow these connections in the firewall settings or just disable it temporarily when using printers. It's as simple as flicking a switch. MX as a gaming system is a pretty good idea. You're getting access to a wide range of Linux games directly from the Debian repositories here. Debian repos contain a good number of really fun games. Zero AD, Alien Arena, Super Tux Cut, and many more super fun titles are available for direct installation here. You can get them either from the Synaptic Package Manager or the MX Package Installer here. And if you want to take it to the next level, I recommend that you get Steam. Steam has a large collection of Linux native games like the Tomb Raider series, Dota 2, Team Fortress 2, Counter Strike, and a lot more. And with Steam's Proton feature, you can play thousands of Windows exclusive games on Linux with ease. Top AAA titles like GTA 5, The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk 2077, and many more install and run like they are Linux native. No wine or play on Linux configuration hassle. Steam on Linux is my recommended way of playing games. And if you have your own games, check out this application called Bottles. It lets you play Windows games on your computer using your own disks or files. It installs Wine, Proton or Sora prefixes on your PC which will be optimized for certain games. With Bottles, you can install Windows games on your Linux computer and get gaming instantly. Check that out. MX has great driver support for all the GPUs and the system itself is lightweight. So you can expect a top grade gaming performance here. MX is fairly simple with regard to installation and getting started. First, head over to the MX website and download MX Linux with your preferred desktop. You get XFCE, KD Plasma and Fluxbox versions. Then flash it onto a USB stick, live boot into it and start the installer. You'll need to select your language. Input your username and select your time zone. In the screen where it asks for domain and all, for desktops and laptops, you can just keep them as they are and proceed. In the install location page, select the install location for your MX installation and that's that. MX Linux will be installed on your system in the next few minutes. Once installed, reboot into your new MX installation and you can adjust the system according to your liking. Moving on to the drivers, GPU drivers for AMD and Intel integrated are pre-installed on MX and for NVIDIA, you can easily install the latest drivers using the NVIDIA driver installer application from the menu. Of course, one nagging thing that I find here is the vertical panel. At first, this was a mild annoyance. Now, I just feel like it's a big turn off for people who are trying out MX for the first time. I'm sure this vertical panel has kept at least one person from embracing the awesomeness that is MX Linux. So for the users, you can change it using the MX Tweaks application. You can just make it horizontal here and it's done. For the developers, from a true MX fan, change the default panel please. While I do get that you have a vision of how people should use MX, it's also important that you listen to what fans of your work have to say. You gotta give the people what they want, right? MX23 is a great update. It's a technological jump up to the present day. There are new things, new features and improvements. At the same time, there is consistency as well. How you use MX, how you interact with it has not changed a bit. 
it's the same grey role. I love updates like this. I mean updates are supposed to be like this. And the MX Linux itself is a great experience. While MX is not something that impresses on the first look, there is a lot more than what meets the eye. MX Linux is fully functional, lightweight and a purely productivity oriented system. Then it brings more for the Linux enthusiasts especially. MX tools really put the power in your hands. Many advanced operations that someone who's tinkering around on Linux might end up needing like fixing boot issues, shooting into systems, fixing repository keys, these are all vastly simplified using GUIs. As a Linux enthusiast myself, I repeatedly needed some things like these when I was new to Linux and I kept messing things up. The thing is, Linux does not pamper you and put kiddie walls around to protect you. You'll either need to learn to get around things or stop messing around things. I know, most of you are going to go with option 1. When you inevitably mess up, having something like MX tools simplifies life. It also upgrades you to a power user even if you're not there yet. I think that makes MX Linux great for intermediate Linux users. People who have passed the beginner threshold and are ready to learn and get familiar with the inner workings of Linux. MX is great for those people. MX is also great for people who need an all-powerful operating system that has all the power tools and enables them to get some work done. On top of that, MX is super lightweight and delivers fantastic performance. This combination that MX brings is a big win in my books. You can download MX23 using the link given in the description below. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Alright, if you had fun with MX23 in this video, you'll absolutely love this fantastic distro called NixOS. It's pretty amazing, so don't miss that. Well, this is Linux Techs, signing out.